Howdy, my name is Tara, and as always, I hope that you're having a terrific day, and if you are not, this video is definitely about to make your day just a little bit better. Today, let us talk about someone who I've been searching for since the start of Genshin Impact, Ning Wong. Ning Wong was one of those characters that I was most looking forward to, but until Child's Banner, I just was never lucky enough to be graced by her presence. As of my last wishing session, I finally have her, and I've been putting all of my resources forward to building her. So now let us talk about some of Ning Wong's building options. Ning Wong is a geocatalyst character who provides massive range damage alongside cursory shielding from crystallized reactions. Her normal attack, Sparkling Scatter, upon hit will grant Ning Wong one star jade up to three. These star jades will be fired off and deal additional damage when using her charge attack. Her elemental skill, Jade Screen, on the other hand, deals AoE geo damage while creating a geo construct which blocks enemy projectiles. Ning Guang's own projectiles and party members' projectiles can still pass through her jade screen though. Her elemental burst, Star Shatter, will cause Ning Guang to gather a great number of gems and then scatter them, sending them out as homing projectiles which deal massive geo damage. If Star Shatter is cast while her jade screen is present, the jade screen will fire additional gems projectiles at enemies. Ning Wong is one of, if not, the strongest range damage characters in Genshin Impact, and with the right build, she will nuke. Alright, now let's talk about some recommended weapons for Ning Wong. The current best in-slot weapon for Ning Wong is none other than the Lost Prayers to the Sacred Winds. I was actually fortunate enough to have gotten this as my first ever 5-star weapon, but I will be including other non 5-star weapons after this one. Lost Prayer provides a crit rate secondary stat and an effect which increases movement speed by 10%. It will also cause the wearer to gain up to 16% elemental damage bonus every 4 seconds stacking 4 times which will last until the character falls or leaves combat. Crit rate is one of the best secondary stats on a weapon and since Ning Wong is a catalyst user all of her attacks will do elemental damage in the form of Geo. This means she will fully utilize Lost Prayer's effect and have that amazing crit rate to boot. Now as a 4 star weapon option there is that of the Solar Pearl which can be obtained as a battle pass weapon and reward. Solar Pearl has a crit rate secondary stat and an effect which will increase normal attack damage by up to 40% for 6 seconds when an elemental skill or elemental burst is used. This ability also works vice versa and will increase your elemental skill or elemental burst damage by up to 40% when a normal attack is used. Ning Guang consistently spams normal attacks in order to generate Jade Stars and by having Solar Pearl every part of her kit will ink out that much more damage. Lastly, a completely free to play 3 star weapon option is that of the twin nephrite which can be obtained from opening chest out in the world. Just like all the other weapons it has a crit rate secondary stat and an effect which increases movement speed and attack by up to 20% for 15 seconds when an enemy is defeated. For being a 3 star weapon this one is incredibly potent due to its crit rate secondary stat and I am glad that they made this weapon so easily accessible to all. Now when it comes to the artifact sets there are a plethora of artifact sets that Ning Wong can utilize so I'll try to be as succinct as possible when describing them. The current artifact set combination that I am using on my Ning Wong is that of the two-piece Archaic Petra and two-piece Gladiator. Together they will increase your geo damage bonus by 15% and increase attack by 18%. I am using this set combination because it will provide the most consistently high damage output regardless of the situation. Archaic Petra can be obtained starting at AR30 from artifact domain farming while Gladiator can be attained from weekly and world bosses. The next artifact set that I'll recommend is going to be again that two-piece Archaic Petra but this time with Noblest Oblige instead of Gladiator. This will provide that increase of 15% geo damage bonus, but also increase your elemental burst damage by 20%. Essentially, you will be building your Ning Wong to focus a larger degree of her damage into her elemental burst. Her elemental burst has a low energy cost of 40, which means it can be cast quite regularly to fully utilize that two-piece Noblest Oblige. Noblest Oblige can be obtained starting at AR35 from Artifact Domain Farming. If you're not one that likes to go for split set options, you can also choose to go all in on that four piece Archaic Petra. This will provide an increase of 15% for Geo Damage bonus and will give plus 35% elemental damage bonus to the corresponding element of a Crystallized Shield reaction. This set will provide the largest damage increase out of any of the options when the perfect shield is formed. However, this is much harder to have happen consistently in practice. Crystallized Shields can be quite fickle and thus other options may be more sought after outside of specific niche situations. Lastly, the early game option you will want to go for is 
is two piece berserker in any two piece set that gives plus 18 percent attack two piece berserker will give plus 12 percent crit rate and there are many sets that give plus 18 percent to attack the two piece berserker set is just kind of the go-to for damage dealers for the early to mid stage of the game the berserker set can be farmed from weekly and world bosses now as for the recommended artifact slot main stats these are actually incredibly straightforward for ning wong for the sans artifact slot you're going to want to be aiming for attack percentage and this will allow ning wong to push out the most amount of damage i do not recommend energy recharge as their elemental burst is on such a low energy cost of 40 and she generates a plethora of energy from her elemental skill already for the goblet slot you're going to want to aim for geo damage bonus as all of ning wong's damage is geo elemental damage so geo damage bonus will increase the damage she puts out more so than attack percentage main stats can lastly for the circular slot you're going to aim for crit damage or crit rate every weapon that i recommended early on in this video had a crit rate secondary stat so you will want to pair those weapons with a complementary circlet possessing either crit damage or crit rate the choice between going for crit damage or crit rate is totally dependent on how much of each stat you already have ning guang is more than just a waifu her range damage is unparalleled and once fully built her potential becomes quickly realized please be sure to like and subscribe if you did end up enjoying ning wang's character building guide and let me know down in the comments what you think of ning wang you can also head over to my discord for additional game help or check me out sometime on twitch links found in the description and as always bye bye now